Welcome to the outside world. Yes, there is life outside the man size 13 sneaker room. I think it's finally springtime. We finally have an absolutely beautiful day in Indiana. It's low 70s today, like 71, 72 degrees outside. A light, nice breeze. It's just, these are the days that you dream of. So since we're taking this outside today, I wanna to talk to you about a poll, or actually two polls that I ran yesterday on my Twitter account about um, different brands and resell and uh, keeping them. So let me go more in depth here in just a second. Let's roll that intro. This Saturday was the perfect day to do this poll for my YouTube channel because this Saturday, April 14th, we've got so many shoes coming out and of different brands with different collaboration or different hype behind them. This is the perfect time to run this these two polls of mine. So let me explain a little bit more. I wanted different shoes from different brands. Like I wanted to choose one Nike, I wanted to choose one Jordan, I wanted to choose one Adidas, and I would love to choose like some kind of a Yeezy. So you got basically Nike, a subsidiary, and Adidas in a subsidiary. And this Saturday, we got them all. Let's start off with, we've got the Off-White Vapor Maxes releasing this Saturday. There's your Nike. We've got the Jordan 1 High Shadow OGs releasing this Saturday. There's your Jordan brand, your subsidiary of Nike. We've got your Adidas Ultra Boost Undefeated collaboration coming out this Saturday. There's your Adidas. And then we've got the Adidas Yeezy 500 Blush releasing this Saturday. So there's your Yeezy subsidiary of Adidas. So it's perfect. All four of these shoes have hype behind them. All four shoes will be limited. So this is the perfect time to find out exactly what people are buying, why they're buying them. So the first poll that I ran, I was asking my subscribers on Twitter exactly out of these four shoes, which one are you ride or die for? Which one do you have to have in your collection? Which one is a must? And here are the results. 42% of people who said, ride or die, one shoe I've got to get for my collection, it is a must, is the Off-White Vapor Max. That was the one that I figured would be the ride or die for most people, and sure enough, it was. Number two, the Jordan 1 High OG Shadow at 39%. I, was, I wasn't sure how that would go. I wasn't sure exactly how high the Yeezy would go, or the Jordan would go, or the undefeated Ultra Boost would go. So I'm kind of intrigued that the Jordan 1 High is so much more desired over the Yeezy and the Adidas. So your top two of ride or die must have is Nike and Jordan brand. Number three on the list was the undefeated Ultra Boost collaboration released on this Saturday at 10%. So only 10% of people, I should have said earlier, I got a total of 232 votes. So 10% of those people, roughly 23 people, are ride or die. They want the undefeated Ultra Boost collaboration. Only 10%. So that leaves you number four. It's the Adidas Yeezy 500 blush. Coming in last with only 9% of the people wanting that shoe as a ride or die, gotta have. It's gonna be my collection. So if this poll had been done a year ago, that Adidas Yeezy 500 blush would have probably been 60 or 70% of the vote. Fast forward to April 2018, and it's only 9% is ride or die, gotta have it. So I was very intrigued by these results. I didn't expect the Yeezy going that low. Of course, this Yeezy 500 blush has no boost technology, so that might be a part of it. Who knows? But the Adidas Yeezy kind of craze is dying off slowly, and we're seeing that now firsthand. So since we did a poll for gotta have ride or die, it's going to be mine no matter what. I had to do a poll out of those four shoes. Which shoe would you is your number one shoe that you buy to only resell, and that is it. Out of those four shoes, which one do you want the most in order to resell? You're not keeping it. You're flipping it. Here's the results. Number one should not be a shock. 51% of the people responded out of the 214 total votes. 51% said they want the off-white Vapor Max to resell, to flip immediately. So 42% of the people wanted it to keep. 
and then the next poll 51% wanted to resell it so pretty much if you look at this poll it's pretty even in terms of who wants it and who, who wants to keep it who wants to resell it so on Saturday it's going to be obviously pretty interesting to see all the people who actually want it they're not going to be able to get it the resellers are going to snatch them up number two on this list of gotta get to resell this was almost a tie it was super close 20 percent said the jordan one high og shadows followed right next to it at 19 percent for the adidas yeezy 500 blush so i mean that's pretty much you can call that an even that the jordan one shadow and the adidas yeezy 500 blush were even so in terms of resale that jordan one og shadow should honestly retails 160 it shouldn't go much more than probably 225 on saturday for resale the adidas yeezy 500 blush retails 200 i can see i'm going for between three to 350 so you can on saturday you can make more resale on the yeezy blush maybe about twice as much but in terms of people going for one shoe if you're going to take your time okay if you if you're going to get the yeezy or the jordan you have a better chance of getting the jordan over the yeezy by probably tenfold because of availability so i think the same amount of people see it as you know what if i want to make some easy cash this saturday your best best jordan one then another sector of people the same amount of people saying the yeezy 500 blush shouldn't be impossible to get but i can make more we're going for that one so anyway let's round this up coming to number four the adidas ultra boost undefeated collaboration only 10 percent of people want to resell it so out of the 214 total votes little over 21 people said they actually want to get it to resell this is a very limited ultra boost an undefeated collaboration ultra boost collaborations in the past especially with the ones that are ultra boost like 1.0 2.0s those collaborations were crazy they're still pretty valuable but now the 4.0s it's like the collaborations with the ultra boost are pretty much dying slowly and it's interesting to see I'm like me, I've slowed down on buying Ultra Boost because I've got too many pairs of Ultra Boost. I, I, I don't need 25 different colorways of Ultra Boost because it's the same shoe. 1.0 to 4.0, very small differences in the upper and that's about it. And I don't need 25, 30, 40 colorways of one model. That's just ridiculous. So I think a lot of people are kind of like me, still love the shoe, absolutely love the Ultra Boost, but don't want your whole room full of one model of shoe. So people like me aren't paying the resale for the Ultra Boost anymore because I've already got enough Ultra Boost. I haven't bought any of the 4.0s yet because I've got too many of the other Ultra Boosts. So anyway, so this poll pretty much says, to wrap this up, that the Off-White Vapor Maxes are the number one shoe that people are going for to keep, to rock, to have in their collection, and the number one shoe that people want to resell. Interesting, right? How quickly times flip from April of 2018, April of 2017, April 2016. You go back in the past, that Yeezy would have been the desired shoe. Now it's not. It's flipped. It's the Vapor Max. Actually, not really, it's not really the Vapor Max, it's the off white. It's the, it's the drive behind the off white, is what the people want. So I was really curious to take this poll for a release day where, like I said earlier, where you've got four shoes, two Nikes, two Adidas with some subsidiaries, all hyped, all limited, all wanted. Exactly what do the consumers want? So Adidas has been king now for several years, but times are flipping. Pretty much the Nike Off-White Vapor Max and the Jordan 1 Shadow are basically more desired than both of the limited hyped up adidas models what does that say people follow a twin a, a trend people follow a wave and the wave is switched but it's not it's it's not it's not going to say that it won't go back to the way it was watch adidas release a couple new new models of the yeezys ultra limited and all of a sudden you'll see the wave go right back to adidas then you'll see Nike collab with Off-White, and you'll see it go back to Nike. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to 
do this video for quite some time, but I had to wait for the right time to do it, the right Saturday drop to do it, and we got one. So let me know your comments below. Uh, what do you think about the four shoes that got pulled? What you think of them? Make sure you subscribe to his YouTube channel. Make sure you hit me up on social media at Franchise Kicks on Twitter and on Instagram. And make sure you hit up one of my sponsors, CatBeast.com. Use promo code FK-10 for 10% off of all of your orders. Direct link to CatBeast.com is below in the description box. Make sure you check them out, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>